Fishbowl presents Taking Stock, the History of Inventory. Inventory has been around for dozens of years, although some so-called historians say even longer. It sits on shelves. It is the thing we buy before it belongs to us. But most of all, it is stuff. But it wasn't always like this. Before the dawn of the internet, there was only man and his cave. This caveman had all the rocks he could want, but lacked the means to count them, as he had been so consumed with his art that he had never learned to math. But this did not stop the caveman from leaving the safety of his dwelling to search for his answers. It did not go well. The following Tuesday, wise Egyptians arrived on Earth through the Stargate and brought with them triangles big enough for any man or woman to count. Counting to six was no longer a human conundrum, and now the world knew just how many pyramids Egypt had on hand. Seeing the power of inventory, Julius Caesar, famous for his salads, formed the Roman Empire and built vast collections of countable columns which would later become the basis for our modern yet antiquated spreadsheet. With his counting able armies, Caesar erected columns and created tasty salads as he conquered. Armed with the power of columns and pre-dinner antipasto, fearsome Vikings sailed great distances, landing in what is now modern day Minnesota, where they formed a football team and taught the locals how to inventory. It was here that Reginald Mortison Fishball learned how to inventory. And the following year, Fishball sold the family horseshoe business and with those funds, hand forged fancy computer software after his own namesake, Fishball. Not long thereafter, sliced bread was invented, NASA went to space, and warehouse workers rejoiced because they no longer had to count using their fingers. The Vikings may no longer teach inventory, or show up to their own football games. Yet Fishbowl remains, taking care of the inventory so other people don't have to. Fishbowl.